Let us take a few minutes to see how we can learn a little bit about the softwares as a survival guide, I would say, for uh, surviving in bioinformatics. So we just now use this Bowtie software to do some read mapping. Uh, and here is this actual command line to, act, to start the software, right? Up to here. This is where we start the software. Let me now copy this uh, out here. I'm in my module 5 folder, right? Not that I really needed to be there because I specified the path to the container here. And then, so, so I mean, up to here is just to activate the container, right? So the actual command to run Bowtie is this part. How can I learn more about using Bowtie? Well, uh, you typically run the software with minus H as an option for getting the help text. Almost all software, command line softwares like this, will give you a help text if you type either minus H or it could be minus help. You have to spe spell the word help or perhaps double minus help or something like that. Or you can even try to run without any option. All of them, one of them usually gives you the help text. It varies a little bit. Let's run this one now. Yes, this one gave us pretty long help text here. Let's scroll back to the top where we were. Here. And actually, the first thing we should look at in a help text like this is the top. This here, usage. And actually, the line here, these two lines then, or it's usually in one line or in two lines like this. This is the first thing we should look at because this gives us the pattern of how we should give the input to this software. So uh, let's uh, see how, how, uh, how Bowtie can help us specifying. First of all, the command to start Bowtie is Bowtie2, yeah. And of course that we already knew, otherwise we wouldn't have been able to run this. Uh, then uh, the first chunk here is options. So immediately after the command to start Bowtie 2, we can list some options. But this is optional because it's brackets, right? Brackets means inside here you can have something or you can leave it out completely <clears throat> and it lies in the words options that this is optional what are the options options are uh, these uh, all the all the ones you see down here if you scroll down these are options that you can put in here then after you have entered the options you would like to use you have to specify the index and notice it's minus x this is not really an option because this is required you cannot leave this out there is no brackets around it you have to specify an index and what how, how do i know that this is an index it says here index file name prefix and we looked in the previous video, we looked at this uh, when we created an index, we saw that we specify the prefix, right? The, the, the sort of the, the first part of the name of the index. And this is what you have to give here then. Then the fourth sort of chunk of input starts here with these curly braces and it ends here with the other right curly brace. So this is the fourth chunk of input. First, no, sorry, third chunk of input then. First you have the command, then options, then index. And here is now the reads. And they can be specified in four different ways. Either like this, and this is if you have paired n reads. So you have m1 is the num uh, number one mates, and m2 is the number two mates, R r1 and r2, right? Minus one R r1 file minus two r2 file and this is also how we used it uh, 
or this vertical bar means or or you can also specify minus u and one read file with unpaired reads right so in case you have unpaired reads you can also use bow tie on them but not together with the paired because it's you either have to specify this or this or there is another ver uh, alternative here, interleave. What is this? This is also actually paired and reads, but instead of having them spread out in two different files, they are actually uh, mixed into one file where every second read is an R1 and every second is an R2 read. So the first two reads, you could say, are is a pair. And read number three and four is a pair and so on. This is not so commonly used anymore. And the last ver way of giving the input is using what we call a BAM file, which we will not dig more into here now. But the point is that this is actually shows us there are multiple ways of specifying the input here. And then the last chunk is also optional, is the output. And you, say, you can see minus S, capital S, and the name of something here, SAM, file for SAM output. Yeah. And this is what, what we use as well, but notice this is optional since it's brackets. You don't have to specify an output file. What happens? Well, the output will give, be given to the screen. So it will just scroll over the screen, which is not very useful. But uh, <clears throat> so we typically use this way of specifying the output. So now you can go back to the uh, command line here and see that we used options up to here. This chunk here are our options. Then we specify the index. Then we specify the read files. Then we specify the output. And this is, I mean, the, the usage here is, is something you should, the order of the inputs you should follow what is specified here. It, uh, some softwares are liberal and you can rearrange the ordering without any big problems, but some are not. So please specify always according to the ordering here, right? So give all the options first, then give the index, then give the reads, and then give the output and not in any other order than that. That is what you should sort of try to learn here now. Read the usage and follow this pattern. Always do that if you want to avoid unnecessary problems. So what are the options? Well, in this case, there are lots of them and you can scroll down here and see they are explained in many of them and some of them are sort of excluding some others and so on so so this can be sort of complicated but you will uh, you can at least start with these options that we used here now and go and find them inside here and read what it says about them I, I recommend you do that but uh, this one is the most important I would say how to sort of run the software. Let's have a look at, we also use this bow tie build. Let's try to do exactly the same thing for that one. It's, a, it's from the same container, but it's a slightly different tool, right? So if we now, if you type control L, you will sort of wipe the screen clean. And then I copy this one here and minus H. And yes, this also has a usage line here, right? So you can see how, how this one should be used. Bout I build, again, the options, then a reference. And it says here, reference in, uh, that's a comma separated list of files. Okay, so we could have multiple reference files. We, we used a single one, right? We used a single reference uh, when we use bout I build here dollar ref and we specified up here this is one single file but we could have had multiple files 
and then it says comma separated so we must then have a sim single comma between the different file names nice to know and then of course the index or the name of the index yeah at the end here and not so many options here because yeah there are fewer choices to be made here so what to do if you don't really know which command to type and that is something that happens right for instance in this case we, we we downloaded the container but how could we know that this is exactly the command for building a bow tie index hmm uh, in this case you have to go somewhere else to look for information and in my module documents you can see at the top of every uh, document there is a listing of the softwares that we are using with a link so follow this link and you come to the github site of that software or if you i mean you can just google uh, the name of the software and github and you will probably also find this very quickly this is a good place to start to learn more about any software and almost all software i think all softwares i use in bioinformatics and that we will use in in uh, in this course have a github site that's pretty standard these days it was not that often 10 years ago but to, uh, these days all software have a github site so this is the place to start and you scroll down the first part is of course only the files the, you don't need that or we don't need that since we use the containers uh, we scroll down to see if we can get some information getting started right this is very nice so here and here you start to see some examples right building an index and here we can see immediately bowtie to build this is the command to use this is the command to use so look up the github site scroll down and see if you can find some information some github sites have plenty of information like this some are poorer but it's usually possible to find something or there could be a link to some manual somewhere else that's also possible another option is to go up here and look for this wiki here that's uh, that's uh, a possible uh, place to find information right apparently not for this software though but wiki and also and this is when you start to run into problems the issues here is where you start uh, tracking uh, errors that you have if you if you run across some problem using the software and you don't really know how to fix that go here to look for the issues and see if someone has had this similar problem before and ask some questions here and some either the people behind the software or someone else knowing a little bit about the software may have given an answer that you can use as a clue this is a w w typical place to start looking for solutions in case you are running into problems so this is how we survive in the world of bioinformatics i would say uh, we use a lot of different software tools and you have to be able to learn yourself how to use these software tools because there will not be i mean the courses like this bin 310 uh, it's it's not that many of them and we don't cover more than a tiny little fraction of all the softwares you will probably need someday right and it things changes all the time as well so you have to learn how to educate yourself by uh, reading these uh, help files and the github sites